Okay, Calvin Castine at uh, Northeastern Clinton Central School High School Gymnasium. 10-16 showing on the clock. We're in the first half of this Rising Star Tournament game. Let's see, Moores is supposed to be playing Messina. Well, I've got both of these teams last night against different opponents. Arriving here from the other uh, middle school gym. Game, the game time is noon. It's 10 of right now, so they try to start these as early as they can for make sure they don't get behind. And they started this one probably at 20 of. So I was just wrapping up in the other gym, and they were starting this one. So it took a while to walk down here. It took a while to get my equipment set up. Our score is 6-4 in favor of Messina right now. Our basket will count. Our referees are Gary Castine and Christopher Gagno. Let's see. For Moores, Parker Roach is 2. Jamie Jeanette, 9. Dawson Gay, 11. Austin Dubuque, 12. Hayden Dragoon, 21. Braden Manette. 22, Evan Manor, 35, uh, Elijah Jolliker, 40, Carson Labarge, 42, Elijah Sample, 43, Keaton Cox, 44, if they haven't changed numbers from uh, last night. Uh, somehow I have Moores and Messina. listed over each other last night. Let me see what I got last night. I got Moores against Messina. Oh, this is Al Sable. Excuse me, this is Al Sable. Al Sable Valley. Moores against Al Sable Valley. So for Al Sable Valley from last night. Uh... Brandon Mahi, 14, Aiden Trombley, 3, Tanner Fournier, 9, Keegan Snow, 11, Xander McCabe, 2, Connor Ledoux, 13, Carson Garcia, 1, uh, Luke Trombley, 6, and Jaden Twaits is 7. Well, this is uh, Mowers against Os Sable. Next game in this gym will be the number one girls against number four girls. I saw the uh, Ellenberg girls going to the other court, so the Ellenberg girls at this point in time are the only local team that I haven't gotten, so wherever they're playing is where I will be. So they're probably number two or number three. That is the case. More Champlain is a, we just get a game Champlain versus uh, uh, versus Ellenberg uh, boys earlier. We got, so we got the Champlain team twice. And we finished to follow that with Champlain girls versus Moore's Hollisters. So we got each of them once. The smallest team we're getting for the second time. Oh, well, we got some Ellenberg girls coming back here, so maybe they will be playing here. We'll see if they wander away, if they stay here. Oh, looks like they're gathering their coats, so they might be moving. Hope, I'm hoping they're playing here, so they don't have to relocate again. Ball. 
623-94 off Sable. We're in the first half. Our third game of the day. We'll do at least one more, and it depends on who's left standing. We'll get that Ellenberg team. And as long as the local teams are competing, we'll uh, do our best to cover them. I mean, what else are they going to do when it's 11 below zero outside and Valentine's Day? It's not like I want to spend time with the wife. I mean, what better way than to spend it here recording endless ball games? <laughs> well, it's a Sunday. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous two games, 17 below overnight at my particular establishment. Basket by turn around by 14. 14. 14 on the 14. Oh yeah, Braden McKee. So it's uh 17 below here. Messina, who's in this tournament also, has, uh, has 24 below with wind chill in the mid minus 40s. <laughs> Subs coming in. 11-4. Sable leading Moors. Monet. Oh, inbound. Nope. Uh, 25. We don't have a 25. So. This fellow here wasn't here last night. Ducat, it says on his. Sh Does it say Ducat? No, oh, it just says Dupreeze. Well, over 25 is. Should have been here last night. We have your number. I don't have it, don't have the name, so we're not going to be able to get it. I think I only take a couple minutes for halftime, so it give us time to run down there and get names. Let that be a lesson to you, fellow. Show up at all the games. There's a basket by Keaton Koch. Hey, if this ref gets out of the way, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get run over. Eleven six three thirty six and counting. You heard me counting, not counting, counting. With the folks at the scoring table, Booster Club Rising Star Tournament, put on entirely by volunteers. down. Time will be green. Who knows? Only one that was a uh, dragoon. Rock shot. Man tries again. Nope. Jump ball. Moore's turn, nope. Moore's turn. Ooh, what in the nose. <laughs> he 
was meant to do it that way, right? <laughs> Two or four to go. Let's see if we can get a number on that fellow sooner or later. If he turns around, number two. Two is McCabe. So it's 13 6, clock is ticking. That's the nice thing about this tournament. Nicest thing, that is. Clock keeps ticking. Can't reach across the line to swipe at the ball. Can't reach out of bounds. Oh, I'm up into each other. 102 to go in the half. Rebounded by Koch. 48 seconds. <laughs> Off the rim. Koch throws it in on the rebound. And they get 13-8. 33 seconds to go in the half. Seconds, clock is stopped. Eight seconds. That was, I think, 11 who scored that. That would be Snow, Keegan Snow. Defense in the backcourt. No defense in the backcourt. Time runs out. 15-8. Alright, I'm going to give him five seconds. No pressing in the backcourt. Alright. Clock hasn't started yet. Clock hasn't started yet. <laughs> and now it'll run out. <laughs> Home cooking there. <laughs> Fifteen eight. <laughs> I'll say we'll leave them at the half. Seen ball, I mean, I'll say the volleyball. We start the second half, they're up 15-8. Uh, who was that? Garcia. Shot. 35 Manor, Evan Manor. Yeah, what a shot. 17 10, that'll be a foul on Evan Manor.
Oh, running hook shot. Thrown in. He has a hitch in his giddy up there. Uh, Brandon McKee, one thing a little bit looked like. Alright, so I'm going to shoot again. I made the last one. Double dribble. Forty-two, Carson Labarge, about that. He's under heavy guarding, heavy guarding when he put that up. Nineteen twelve. Score twelve minutes and forty-five seconds left in the game. Block. Well, they got him with the body. That Labarge, yeah, that was Labarge. We'll send number nine to the line, nine to the line, nine to the line is Tanner Fournier. Shouldn't two. Clock has stopped. Ten after twelve here, twelve, eleven after twelve. Missed the McLaughlin group this week just so I could be here. Maybe I'll have to watch it online. Toy <laughs> makes that one to make it 20 to 12. 12 43, as we said. Left in this one. Whoever he is, he fouled 13. Connor Ledoux had a nice steal there. Clock stop. What's the clock? What's in this clock stoppage here? Keep that clock running during those time. Those fouls. Just the uh, shooting fouls just stop the clock. I don't want to be late for my next game here. <laughs> chances are, all the Ellenberg girls have gone, so chances are. In the middle school gym, looking at their record last night, they were pretty much assured of making the final cut. Twelve oh seven to stop the clock again. Gonna send uh, McKee to the line. I'm glad they started early. <laughs> it's gonna be a long second half. I have the feeling. I'm glad they started that first half early. Oh, sub in for the Morris team. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
ครับบอลจะ stop in the clock stop that stop stop in the clock on jump balls over the line Supposed to be running time here, kids, unless it's a travel. The ref should be catching on that they're doing that. Gay. The clock is supposed to keep ticking on those things. had a half that went over 20 minutes of recording time. If it did, it went maybe 21 minutes. And I've only gone five minutes here and I've got nine and a half minutes of recording time. It's going to be a half hour, half hour half here in recording time. As I said, i got to get to the other gym for a playoff game. Basket by number two, McCabe, 22-12. for our Sable by Luke Trombley. 24-12. Whoops. I'm looking at the clock and the camera zooming. 8.42 to go in the game.
strange thing is the first half the clock was running this half the same people that were sitting over at the scoring table and it's being stopped See a two doesn't help me too much. Well, this is number two, which would be Parker Roach. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Booster Club has just made a donation to Hometown Cable. Two is Roach, yes. So we want to thank the Northeastern Clinton Central School Booster Club. For the support of Hometown Cable, we appreciate that. Remind uh, the rest of you out there that this is viewer supported. And don't think because the Booster Club made a contribution that it takes you off the hook. It still need individuals and uh, been doing this for over 30 years and people just kind of thought that thinking now that it's all part of their package, but the truth is we pay the cable company to put this on TV. We lease the channel. So we, we're paying them, and like going to a restaurant, folks, and not tipping the waiter or waitress. If you're watching this on a regular basis and you're not supporting hometown cable, then you're uh, walking out of the restaurant without tipping Seven oh eight. We got fourteen minutes here, and we're just a little over halfway through the. Uh, through the second half. What's this guy? Two at the line. It's uh, two is uh, McCabe. Twenty-four, fourteen, six fifty-three to go. Nice scoop by. Referee Ganyo. Whoop! <laughs> I'd say that was a foul. A one and one. Seven fouls. We'll be here. <laughs> we'll be here a long time now. Six ten. My big concern is I got to run down to that other gym, and uh, I don't have the Ellenberg lineup, so I have to write that. And if they started when I get there, I'll be up the creek. Okay, I think. Twenty six fourteen. 
Gabe again? I think so, yep. 28-14, to go. Jump ball. Five fresh Morris players coming in. One off Sabre Valley player. Twenty-eight, fourteen. Right bone. Bringing it up. <laughs> Travel. Lavarge with a foul. And sends uh, Brendan McKee to the line. Four thirty-three left in the game. Sub coming in. Let's go. Elijah Sample is reported in. Heading out. I got another 341 here, which could be anywhere from 4 minutes to 14 minutes. So things are going. Three fourteen, three and a half to go. Call. <clears throat> Not 
ball was bouncing around. Nobody was battling for it except it was loose. No double dribble. Blocking foul. in the backcourt. Come on there. You guys have a 16 point lead and you're fouling in the backcourt. Uh, full court press. Team ahead by 16 shouldn't be able to press in the backcourt. 10 I'd say. 10 or less yes but more than 10. It's the last two minutes of the game that they can go full court press but the team in the lead by 16 more than 10 shouldn't to be pressing. Travel call. Little hopping, skipping. There are some I'll say before folks saying that ball hit the side of the back. Back board was out of bounds. It's not out of bounds unless it hits it in the back part. You can tell by the by the rebound the which direction it's it was hit. It bounces toward the court and it wasn't out of bounds. It bounces toward the back court. Out of bounds. Hey, Those are going to here. Two, seven. Seven, seven, Jaden Twaits. Whoop. Should get it again. Oh, 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 oh. Should have got it again. Should have got it again. That guy, one of those guys, moved in right here. I think. What a violation! You can't be moving into the foul shooting area once the shooter has the ball. One minute. Jump ball. 43 seconds to go. 31 14 to score. I'll save a valley ball. It'll keep it. Oh! That'll be a shooting foul. And a bonus. Double bonus. I was on uh, Monette, I believe. Yep, Monette. And uh, Twaits at the line again. Uh, referee explaining you can't be coming in and out of there when the shooter has the ball. Make it 
don't know if I've given that. I think I did. Uh, I think I gave the. Maybe not. Moore's roster: Parker Roach, two; Jamie Jeanette, nine; Dawson Gay, eleven; Austin Dubuque, twelve; Aiden Dragoon, twenty-one; Braden Manette, twenty-two; Evan Manor, thirty-five; Elijah Jolliffe, forty; Carson LaBarge, forty-two; Elijah Sample, forty-three; Ke Keaton Koch, forty-four; twenty-five. He wasn't here yesterday, and I got here too late to find out who he was tonight. Thirty-three, fourteen is the final. And I'll see the Valley defeats Moore's, and that's the way it was in the Rising Star Tournament play. And Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2016. We're out of here. we got to get to the other gym. Thanks for watching, and for those of you supporting viewers, supported local television, hometown cable.